Alabama was the cradle of the civil rights movement, where the struggle for voting rights was secured 40 years ago. But now there are growing allegations of voter fraud in eight counties, including claims that absentee ballots were sold and traded for cash, crack cocaine, and even for piles of driveway gravel. They get them and, and tell them, you know, I give you $40, I give you $50. You know, and it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of people is unemployed here in Marion. We are not going to allow these people to continue to steal elections with, Im with impunity. It cannot be tolerated. Alabama Attorney General Troy King, a Republican, has seized the absentee ballots from three primarily black counties, involving a Democratic primary on June 3rd, where there were allegations of possible vote selling. Some people don't see the harm in that, thinking, well, I can make 40 or $50 real quick. But they, they're not really understanding the history. Did you buy votes? No, I didn't. One election being investigated was won by Perry County Commissioner Albert Turner, Jr. He believes there is voting fraud in his county, but denies he's doing it. Three people, including a former county clerk, have recently been indicted on charges of absentee ballot fraud in nearby Hale County. And there have been reports of similar absentee ballot fraud cases in at least a dozen states across the country in recent years. How easy is it to steal an election using absentee ballots? It's very easy. It's very easy. The absentee ballot box is the most vulnerable to voter fraud. The ability of a great number of Alabamians to participate at all was bought with the blood of the leaders of the civil rights movement in the very streets where, where votes are being bought and sold. And we will not allow their memories and their work to be desecrated by anybody. Since the investigation started, there have been even more allegations of vote buying and abuse of absentee ballots. Those here want to make sure that not only will every vote count, but that they will be cast and counted honestly. In Marion, Alabama, I'm Eric Sean, Fox News.